Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How are you? You guys see in the title, are you truly committed? And I'm going to tell you guys how I even came up with um, deciding to talk about that um, on this morning. It was actually from my own stuff, <laughs> right? So have you ever had a time where you know, you just said, I'm just going to do something else. I'm going to go lay down. I'm going back to sleep. I'm going to go watch TV. I'm just going to chill. I'm not going to do that thing that I know I've committed to or I know I need to do. I'll just do it later. Well, if you're anything like me, you've definitely had those times. And one of those times for me was this morning. So my normally scheduled broadcast time is 11.30 a.m. on mon every Monday and Wednesday, um, Eastern Standard Time. So now is one of my normal scheduled broadcasts. And I had to go through all of the things, you guys, that follow me for quite some time. You know I say your mind has a lot to do with your money and everything else you set out to do. So I had to go through all of the things um, in my mind that were saying, mm, it's no big deal. I'm kind of coming down with the cold. That was one of the things that came through my mind. Um, I'll shoot a video recorded and post that on my page. And then I began thinking about um, just my commitment to um, not only you all who come on and anticipate me coming on every Monday and Wednesday, but also to myself. How many times have we said, I'll just do it later? And one of the things I know, you know, me coming on today may not make this huge significant difference today in my business. But one thing I understand is that what we do today, good morning, Stacy, determines what it looks like 30 days from now, 60 days from now, or 90 days from, from now. So, you know, okay right now in this moment not to do that thing whatever that thing is for you but just know that whatever you're doing in this season is going to determine the or the results that you get 30 60 90 days from now so i could have said i'm good you know i'm just gonna chill you know i'll let them know i couldn't come on but because of my commitment to help more women levels of freedom. Um, whatever freedom may look like for you, I help women service-based business owners step into more time freedom and financial freedom. So it's really a heartfelt thing for me to help women step into new spaces of, of freedom. So many times as entrepreneurs, and especially where we provide a service, you know, hand-to-hand -to, -hand to a client, we trade our time for dollars all the time. And I've been able to help not only myself, I've transitioned from being a hand-to-hand -hand service pay, service based provider to full time and I've got more freedom um, than I, I've ever had. Um, not that I didn't have freedom as an entrepreneur before, but you guys know if you're not working, you're not bringing in the coin. That's kind of the role that it was before. And I just want more women to be able to embrace um, what I'm experiencing and what my clients are experiencing. It does me so good. It does my heart so good to see women able to spend more time with their family, quality time where they aren't frustrated because of loss of income, where they create new revenue streams. And, you know, they really look forward to things in their future where they step into a space from striving to thriving. And so this morning when I had all the things going through my mind, like, um, I'm just not going to come on, right? I'm going to shoot a video. I'm going to post, you know, a video, not a live. But then I thought about um, commitment and what that looks like. Um, I really began to get a better understanding of commitment when I was married. So I was married for 14 years. I've been divorced for about two years now. And um, during that time, I think I learned more about what commitment really than I ever have. So I learned that many people are committed to the outcome, but not necessarily the process that it requires. 
So commitment, oftentimes people are committed to what they say they want to do in their business, how they want their business to change. Um, I recently did a webinar on in their business and you know, some people that see the webinar, they may have the idea that they want to hire help. They are committed to that idea. Y'all yeah, catch what I'm saying, but not necessarily the process. So two years from now, they'll still be saying, you know, I want to hire help in my business. I want to step into a new space in my business. They're committed to the result, but not necessarily the process that it takes to get to the result. And I really learned, as I shared before with you guys, a lot about that in my marriage because I understand that different people look at commitment different and different people are committed to different things. And it's not until you get committed to the process. Like I said, I could have not come on this and it was going on around here, but it may make a difference 30 days from now, 60 days from now, and the level of awareness that I bring to the women who would like to change what they're doing in their life and their business. Do you guys get that? And so it may not impact my right now moments, right? It may not change a whole lot in this moment, but it definitely makes a difference as far as the process is concerned for what I desire to do. And so many people are committed um, Sometimes to that moment, their their mindset is only thinking about that moment and not necessarily about the future. So I kind of want to talk about that on today, whether you are wanting to um, have better relationships, uh, more quality time with your family, you want to get out of debt. And, and I want to stop with, with saying get out of debt. I'm going to talk a little more deeply about that, but I'm going to do a quick introduction before I move forward. For those of you, this is your first time on a live training with me before, or maybe you're catching me on the replay, say hello. Put hashtag replay in the comments. I am Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am a growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners, just like yourself, helping them brand build and profit in their business, create more time, freedom, and financial freedom, um, all while creating a lifestyle that they love. And I come on here twice a week, and I share things to help you move forward in your process to bring more clarity doing in your business. And today is no different, but I want to talk about commitment. And I think that until you fully commit, you will continue to get the same results. Until you fully commit, you will continue to get the same results. So I was sharing, and for those of you, if you want to connect with me outside of social media, you can always go to Renew fullcircle.com renewfullcircle.com but some of you are wanting better relationships um more quality time with your family you're tired of working so many hours you're tired of chasing clients um and attracting them you want to get out of debt and i stop there because i want to clear up what most people think about getting out of debt most people think i'm going to go and live basically like a hermit you know during this time i'm I'm just not spending anything, but I believe in being a good steward over what's coming in, but creating opportunity to earn more revenue. That's my idea of getting out of debt, creating another stream of revenue that helps you pay down the debt um, as well and not just living like a hermit. But anyway, I wanted to make that clear. Regardless of what it is that, that you want, maybe you want to lose weight. Um, maybe you want more happiness in your life. What does happiness look like to you? Are you committed to doing the things that actually make you happy in your life? And for most people, believe it or not, when asked that question, they can't even fully answer the question. That was me, guys. I went to a conference um, some years ago. Question. Um, what makes me happy? And I've become so inundated with my normal everyday routine that I've been doing for years that I'd almost forgotten what happiness looked like for me. And that's when I began uh, really getting more clear about my vision and deciding whether or not the things that I was doing was actually lining up with you know what made me happy. And when I could fully answer those questions, it changed the activities that I did, you know, in my everyday life. And now I'm in a space of um, multiplying those, uh, the commitments that I've made 
to create the, the business and the lifestyle. I love, I absolutely positively love coaching and consulting and helping women to find clarity and move to new levels because many of us, we don't even know. Like for instance, I would have never thought that I could earn um, in, in a matter of moments what some people, it takes people weeks or, or a week or two to earn, right? So my idea about how I earned revenue changed tremendously. And that changed because I started looking at what I really desired in my life. And then I said, okay, if that's what you really desire, then how are you going to make that happen? And that meant that I had to be introduced to new ways of earning revenue, um, bringing on income, understanding that I didn't always have to trade um, my time for, for dollars. So anyway, whatever it is that you are saying that you're committed to, you have to be unapologetic about it. Someone put unapologetic in the comments. So your commitment to someone else may be offensive. Because more than likely, the five you're spending the most time with now are not thinking on your next level. Because if so, all of you all would probably be to the next level. But you're going to have to be un unapologetic about what it is that you really desire. And this brings a, a conversation that I had recently with um, someone who's also in business. And we were talking about 2020 and how business is going to be for us for the upcoming year. And I asked the question, I said, so how's business going? And they said, well, business is going good. And then, you know, after we say it's going good, <laughs> if you have a really close business bestie that you can talk to, you can talk about the ups and the downs, the downside that's normally occurring somewhere in everyone's business. Um, but they begin to share with me about uh, clients who were uh, connecting with them, business and and then never fulfilling the commitment um, or they were having to chase them down just you know stuff stuff that comes along for those of you who have stepped into levels of coaching and training um, been some things that you may have dealt with early in your your practices of, of coaching and training but in the process you know they were making suggestions to me and I was making suggestions to them and one of the things I realized is that the things they were saying made sense it did not connect with where I wanted to go. And so there was no way I was going to commit to those things. Now, they were committed to those things, but they're still getting the same results. Do you guys get that? So it doesn't mean when I say, are you truly committed? I know all of you are committed to something, but is it to the right thing? Is your commitment to the right thing? And you have to get to a space where you're apologetic about it. Whatever fears you may have, you have to face them. You have to face them. So part of being committed to the process is also being committed to those things that you fear doing, uh, taking a chance in or stepping out in the most. Right. And so many of you are saying, well, how do I, you know, overcome this fear? I hear people tell me I need confidence or I hear people tell me I need courage. But what courage really is, is just someone brave enough to overcome their fears. That's all that courage really is. It's not like this um, thing that somebody can pass on to you. You can be empowered through my messages here, which um, many of you are. Many of you make moves to you know what I'm sharing and me empowering you but the actual act of doing it is called courage and it's when you overcome the fear that's all courage is and so when you see people doing things that you've been having on your list for years and you haven't done yet that person just overcame whatever fears they were facing um, to make those moves and you didn't. That's basically what you're seeing. People acting out of courage. And after a while, that courage turns into confidence. <clears throat> because confidence is um, acting because of the, result, the current results that you've gotten. So when people say that whatever it is that you're desiring to do, it gets easier over time. It's because you gain a level of confidence because you've taken action and you've gotten results. And it gives you a sense of 
easy courage, if, if, um, if that's the way that I could put it, because you're confident. You've already, you know, got your foot feet in the water. You've gotten your feet wet and you see that this brings results or you either learn not to do it a certain way. So some of what uh, fear does is it keeps you from even experiencing what's necessary for, for the next level. So I encourage you to have courage. And remember, courage is really just overcoming fear. That's all it is. So don't think that people who are, you know, always on the scene or, or doing different things, changing their life, making big moves, don't have measures of fear because we all have some measure of fear. But courage is us overcoming the fear in order to stay committed to the overall outcome, right? And now, remember earlier, I committed to the outcome, like what it looks like, like in their mind, they can see themselves doing this or doing that. They're committed to that. If you ask them this year what it is they desire for their business, it will probably be the same three years from now. That same desire, whether it's to hire someone, rebrand, to transition from whatever, it'll probably be the same thing because they are committed only to the outcome and the sound of it, what it looks like, telling people that's what they want. But until you get committed to the actual process that it takes to make that happen, that's when the results change, right? That's when the results really change. So how would your life be different if you committed differently? I want you to think about that for a moment. How would your life be different if you committed differently? Would you have more time freedom? Would you have more revenue? Would you bring more awareness to what it is that you do, your brand? Would your family have different experiences? Would you be able to do more for your family members or those who have really poured into your life? Would you be able to give back to them? Uh, would your quality of life change? How would your life be different if you fully committed? I'm going to talk about three things that you guys can do this morning. Three things. Decide that you no longer want to survive. Now, survival is necessary. You got to feed your family. You got to eat. You got to do all of that stuff. But thriving is completely different. And it's a completely different feeling and energy behind it. I want to read a, a quote from Maya Angelou. It says, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. So her mission was not to just strive. So strive is like, it's really close to struggling, right? It's like, I can pay my bills. This is working for me, but that's about it, right? There's not a lot of wiggle room. And if there is wiggle room, maybe it's on a credit card, right? Um, maybe there's not a lot of time freedom in what it is that you're doing. Maybe you've outgrown a season that you're in and you're just like staying in that season, but you're not thriving. Remember, it's a completely different energy. Another phrase that Maya Angelou said is, surviving is important. But thriving is elegant. I read that. I said, yes, Maya. Thrive, stri surviving is important, but thriving is elegant. There's a completely different energy behind it. Third, uh, second thing, what are you willing to do differently? What is it that you're willing to do differently? Um, is it, are you going to go live? more often. I was thinking about how I transitioned from my personal page to my business page. So on my personal page, my video views were, you know, reaching the thousands in video views. And I began to think about what my ultimate goal is. So time freedom is, is huge to me, guys, right? And I'm willing to make the sacrifice to build the business that I love let you guys know how this is going to tie in with me talking about posting on my personal page. I, you can definitely grow your business on your personal page. I don't know if that's what Facebook really wants you to do, but people do it all the time. But I knew that my ultimate goal in my business was to be able to automate some things. And I can't run ads on my personal page. It's just, I can't do that. And so I had to take a risk. 
I had to take a slow up in viewership um, in order to begin building my platform on my business page, which I should have done years ago because back in 2000, maybe 13, I worked with a coach and that was one of the things that she stressed. And because I was getting so much interaction, not conversion, on my personal page, in my mind, I was like, well, maybe that's how it, it works for her. But for me, I'm getting more um, interaction on my personal page. But just be sure that you're not committed to the affirmation and the likes that come from your personal page if they're not really yielding you the results. So you got to look at what is it that you're committed to. Because some people are so committed to... Um, So committed to affirmation and the likes that they want to feel important on social media, but it's not really working. And it's, it's, it's got to come to a point where we decide what is it that we're really going to be committed to. And so I began looking at um, just the interaction on my uh, business page now. And to get likes on the big business page organically is, is not super easy. But I'm noticing the likes going up. I'm noticing uh, not just the likes on the page, but the interaction with clients. And so whatever you focus on, whatever you commit to, that is what will grow. <laughs> that is what will grow. And so many people are growing things that aren't going to grow the future. It's just going to continue to bring them the same results. So ask yourself, what are you willing to do differently? Many of you have been watching me for years now, and you um, enjoy my broadcast. I enjoy giving you value. Um, and some of you will never, ever do business with me. I understand that. So my uh, bring value to you, and hopefully it puts you in a place of, of moving to some measure in your business. But some of you started at the same time that others who have worked with me and those who have worked with me have tripled their results in the same amount of time that you've simply been watching, which is fine because people have a choice. They commit to whatever it is they want to commit to. But I, I think what breaks my heart the most is the same people still watch and still have the same issues. And the ones who were committed to the process Right. Not just the emotional aspect of, you know, how I make you feel um, or the aha moments that you get. Some people were committed to the process and their results are are completely different, guys. And so I want to ask you, what are you willing to, to do? Is there a coach or a consultant or someone that you need help with? Are you did you do you need my help? What is it that you're willing to do? Where's your level of commitment? And then I want you to do this. I want you to and begin thinking long term. Because as long as you're only thinking for the moment, you'll say what I said before I had to convince myself that I was coming on anyway. Well, it's, it may not make a huge difference in my day. I'm good, right? Um, we start thinking just about the moment. But when we begin thinking long term, we understand that everything we do during the process are the results that we get in the days from now. And then we're not scrambling, right? Because we've created whatever needed to be created to generate that boom factor or that suddenly factor or the momentum needed to shift you to your next level. So my question for you today is, are you truly committed? And I'm going to do something um, that I don't normally do. For those of you who are really committed and you're like, okay, today is my day. I'm going to allow you to text me. Normally, I have people to go to my calendar. And for those of you who like to schedule on the calendar, you can bit.ly slash your clarity to schedule time with me. It's a complimentary opportunity. But for those of you who are really committed and this video changed your mindset um, and you're just ready, you can text me at 919-727-TEAM. 919-727-TEAM or 919-727-8326 and put the word commitment. And I'll give you a call back and we'll have a conversation about what it is that you need for your next level. Because maybe you're committed, you just aren't committed to the right thing. So number one, decide you no longer want to just survive, right? You want to move from surviving to thriving. Two, um, ask yourself, what am I willing to do different? 
What am I willing to do different? And three, shift to thinking long term. It will change what you do in your daily activity and ultimately change your results. Have an amazing day. Peace.